Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Here we are, once again, we have returned to send our fellow Kerbonauts onto adventure and excitement and science beyond our globe and whatnot and etc. But yes, we're back. It's still version 0 0.16, and as you may have heard from the Flavathon when we had the Kerbal Space Program developers on as guests, they were mentioning the next version, 0 0.17, uh, which is going to have a lot of amazing things, additional planets and moons to head to, a uh, whole bunch of different stuff that'll make making rockets easier and just totally, it's like a whole new game type of situation. So. Uh, I feel like uh, with this video, this episode, perhaps series of episodes, uh, there's one thing we need to do before that update comes up uh, in the next few weeks, I believe. I don't want to quote, don't quote me on that, but I know they're, they're aiming for next month at some point. But before that update comes up with all these new planets and places to go, there's one place we have yet to conquer, and that place is the Moon Minmus. Uh, we have traveled to and from the actual moon, the moon moon. Uh, we've flown to the North Pole, we've orbited, we've deorbited, we've done all sort of things. We've, uh, even with mod packs, put, puts uh, satellites into geosynchronous orbit. But uh, the one thing we have yet to successfully do is land on and return safely from Minmus. So that is what we're going to do today. Uh, I took a little bit of time away from the microphone and built a rocket that I think should get us there. So there will probably be a time-lapse sequence following this, and then I will join you guys in the VAB to explain my process and what I'm anticipating will happen with this mission. So, see you in the VAB! All right, and here we have it, the Curiosity 5, very aptly named after our current Mars rover that we have up there. In, in real life, I decided to name this the Curiosity, uh, kind of uh, built off of previously used designs. I'm using the, uh, uh, let me zoom in here. I just figured out how to do this. You can zoom by clicking the middle click button while you're in the VAB, the middle click, your, your scroll wheel and then scroll in and out, and that actually allows you to zoom. Learning new things, learning new things. Uh, but yeah, I've used these external, not solid rocket, but I do have solid rocket boosters just to get me off the ground, but these external liquid fuel rockets are also draining fuel into the center uh, fuel tank so that uh, it'll do a little bit of that, that onion design, is that what I called it, or banana peel design, or whatever, some sort of fruit and or vegetable and or produce <laughs> relationship to uh, to peeling away of the layers. Uh, so yeah, I've done that. Hopefully that will allow us to get the most out of our fuel. Uh, if anything, this might be a little bit overpowered, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, but I've, I've given myself the challenge of instead of just sending one of those one-man rockets, I'm sending the three-man capsule there. And a little trick I learned, uh, obviously, being as the size difference for these stages versus the normal stages, 
certain things like the SAS modules and the RCS fuel doesn't really fit with this whole situation. So I've attached those to the nose cone and then put parachutes on the side. Hmm, we're getting crafty here. So hopefully this works out well. I have a little bit unnecessary, but I have the nose cone coming off in a separation stage just just as hopefully we're re-entering, but uh, uh, that's kind of worrying about something that I, I have yet to do yet. We, we, we're we mostly concerned about getting to Minmus first, and then we can worry about getting back. Uh, but yeah, I think our Curiosity 5 is all staged up and ready to go, and we're going to try to get to Minmus. Uh, we've got our little scientists and engineers walking around. Where's the one guy? They were mentioning the... Uh, the developers were mentioning how they decided to put in a guy. There's one of these engineers just walks around and starts hitting the ground with a hammer at random intervals for no particular reason. There he is. There he is. And there's a guy with... What, what are those? Scissors? He's just random... Oh no, that's a wrench. It's like a... <laughs> it's like a, a, a wrench for a spare tire. And this scientist is absolutely just laughing maniacally at this creation we've created. Uh, but yeah, that's really quite funny. And also, I guess I should mention, let's head to the launch pad first. Oh, we've got the, the original three astronauts, Kerbonauts, sorry, ready ready to go. Uh, if you were there or you saw the archive of Flabathon, you could see that they did add a Kurt Kerman. It's unfortunately, as far as I'm concerned or as far as I'm aware, is not Kurt J. Kerman. They don't have the ability to add middle initials yet. Nobody has middle initials, so... Uh, perhaps in the future you will randomly choose a Kurt Kerman as part of your crew. Uh, they've also said that the the 3D glasses don't appear in this little animation area, so uh, that will only appear on on EVA. But uh, perhaps we'll get a chance to see those today. Mm hmm. Nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Spoilers, spoilers. Uh, but yeah, what, what's the time of day? It's like uh, where's the sun? All right. All right, just after just after uh, sunrise here, let's take a look at where we're at for the location of our target. All right, that's interesting. Uh, what with the spacecraft persistence, uh, things tend to not be in the place where you think they were. Uh, you may notice, first of all, that there is a spacecraft on Minmus. Uh, for full disclosure, away from the camera, I did attempt and successfully landed on Minimus, uh, but the spacecraft I built did not have enough fuel to return, so they are stranded there. This isn't a rescue mission, uh, but uh, hopefully we can at least have some similar luck getting to and landing on Minimus, uh, and hopefully all these extra fuel and, and all this other fun stuff we have will allow us to, to reserve the fuel we have in order to get back, but... This isn't about talking and discussing our plans. We must we must launch forth, literally, figuratively, and literally, and head to Minmus. So, Bill, Jebediah, and Bob, welcome back. Prepare to make history once again. Let's turn on the old SAS. Let's throttle up. And then we're going to light the liquid fuel rockets, and then the solid rockets. And then at that exact moment, the, the tie-downs are going to let go. So, in five... Four, three, two, main engine starts, and booster ignition, and holy cow, a speedy liftoff. A very speedy liftoff. Wow. Check out that acceleration. Hold on, guys. Just bleeding through that fuel. We're going to run out of that fuel before our solid rocket boosters run out. A little bit wobbly. Woo! Check us out, guys. I think we are gonna run out of fuel. So long. Don't need you guys anymore. All right, now we're well, we're kind of overheating. So let's throttle down a little bit. We were really rocketed off the launch pad. It's ironic since we are on a rocket, but. Uh, all right. Okay, we've got a lot more fuel there than I. That I first anticipated. Uh, let's do a slight, slight tilt to the right, very slight, a few degrees at best. Uh, let's uh, get everything situated there. That's great. Oh, 
Okay. That happened sooner than I wanted it to. Uh, perhaps I should add more liquid fuel rockets to the outside, but we'll see. Alright, doing alright. Uh, yeah, maybe that was too much power at the get-go. Uh, and then it just totally burned out really quick. So, we'll see how we do now that we're almost out of fuel in this segment. Alright, whoa, 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 okay, I could actually probably cut the engines imminently here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, totally. Woo, okay. Uh, not the most efficient launch, but uh, I think we can recover. Uh, we can just, without using the SAS and wasting that fuel, we can just slowly tilt over. To get ourselves on that 90 degree path. Yeah, that, uh... Perhaps a little bit too much power. <laughs> Perhaps, if there is such a thing. Which Jebediah Kerman obviously does not think there is such a thing as too much power. Alright, so... Uh, I guess one thing I didn't test was to see if the... The gear... Lo oh yeah, that's going to be plenty, plenty of space. To clear the the engine is what I was worried about. And let's hold it right on the 90 degree mark. Very nice. Awesome. And we're going to wait just before the apoapsis. Yeah, this was really not an efficient launch. Uh, with that kind of thrust, I should have tilted over a lot sooner, I, I think, would have given me a lot more bang for my buck there. Because now I'm going to have to turn all this vertical speed... Our guys are still at the North Pole. Is are going to turn all this vertical speed into uh, horizontal speed. So let's fire up those engines again. Let's see if we can... Yeah. Hmm. Appears to be working. Let's just hope we have enough fuel. This engine likes to overheat. Hmm. I don't like this... the way that this is going. <laughs> that we're gonna have to use fuel from the upper stage engine to get into orbit. Not the greatest use of resources. And this rocket is far, far more underpowered. It's just supposed to be used for landing, not getting into orbit. Dang it. Well, let's actually get more in track with the direction we're going. Hmm. 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 I'm almost feeling as though we should restart this flight. Seems... yeah. Already burnt through a quarter of our fuel. Uh, even if we do get into orbit, it's not going to be pretty getting to Minmus. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't I, I do not do this that much. I would normally... Well, I mean, I guess we could... Uh, we can kind of see what our landing sequence plays out as. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's not break from tradition. Let's not end a mission halfway through. Let's actually see if we can't uh, test out our landing situation. What with the the sideways parachute and our multiple separation stages here. Uh, we're going to be coming down pretty quick here. Uh, that's another thing. During the interview, they said, uh, I know Harvester and uh, 
Novo Salisco, those guys who are working on it, uh, said that the reentry, you know, burning on reentry, uh, in terms of the the way you know the atmosphere and stuff affects your reentry with heat shields and whatnot, uh, that's going to be in the game, but it's not a priority simply because it is a, a very difficult thing to do. Uh, especially when you start talking about multiple planets with different densities of atmospheres and depending on your speed and your angle and stuff like that. So uh, that's something that'll be in the game, but definitely uh, that's a long-term goal. Uh, all right, I'm going to... Let's do that to slow our surface movement just a little bit. Do that, and then... Oh god, we're already into the atmosphere. Crap, son! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we need to do... Uh oh This could spell for problems here. Alright, let's spin around. Oh no, we're like going down like a lawn dart. Alright, oh! Okay, 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 okay. Easy, 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 okay. Correct ourselves there. Oh, that's that's not really quite stable at all. All right, now we're going to lose this upper stage with the RCS. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Uh, then it's time to deploy the parachutes. I hope two parachutes is enough to slow us down. It should be, should be. All right, that kind of works, but I guess I have to do that well before I enter the atmosphere because that makes for a very unstable reentry capsule. Uh, but Jebediah is, Jebediah is happy, so everything's good, right? Usually that's how it works. As long as these upper stages don't come crashing into us. Uh, they shouldn't, I don't think. Alright, parachutes deploy. Very nice. Woo! A little bit of G-forces there, but they don't seem to mind. Alright, and there goes those other pieces. Safely. Although... <laughs> 800 meters away is a pretty close call in terms of space flight. <laughs> ah. All right. Well, that design works, but yeah, like I said, I got to make sure to disconnect those stages before before I enter the atmosphere cuz wacky wild stuff starts to happen if I don't. Okay, good test. Good test. Bill, Jebediah, and Bob are happy with this test. Uh, we're going to have to go a little bit back to a drawing board of some description. Uh, perhaps simply outfitting those those liquid fuel boosters kaboomf, with like the least powerful liquid fuel rocket might might do us and that way it reserves fuel for that main engine uh, but then also uh, let's let's those fuel tanks stick around for a long time okay this was a successful test we're learning. We are learning. 